Hey, welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading for Pisces, our water sign, Pisces. Pisces, you are the dreamers. You are ruled by the planet Neptune, which is the planet of spirituality. Your dual nature is to be imaginative, yet you can also be very spacey. Your drive is to embody unconditional love. And your mantra is, I believe. Welcome into the cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with a Pisces. You are here to see what's going on with your person. So some of this message could be for you as well. Our energies are working together to create a message for you for the atonement of the, your highest good, your highest evolution of soul growth for yourself and for humanity, for all living deities. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is where you are exercising your intuitive nature and your intuitive process. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. If it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to check out your moon sign. You might be more in the lunar energies this month. That is always an option too. And time is fluid. So anytime that you come across this message and you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to see it. So stay open to that. And if you like the content being shared, Please like and subscribe, help the channel grow. That would be much appreciated so that other Pisceans can also get the messages needed for them as well. So let's get a theme going for you here, Pisces. Let's jump into this. The dreamers, the water bearers. Good to have you here. Let's see where we go with you today. Here we go. I'm going to keep this one because two popped out. We have the Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings, and Justice. Wow. Way to kick it off, Pisces. New Beginnings and Justice. This could be karma. Good karma coming back to honor you. Cause and effect. Rising above. Harmony, blending, balance. This is Libra energy coming in as well. Flow. So let's see what that's all about for you. Okay, Pisces? All right. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. This is messages for Pisces, please, and all those watching. For the highest atonement of soul growth and soul evolution. For that of the planet and of the universe. Thank you. Here we go, Pisces. Your overall energy. King of Cups. Leveling up. Embracing heart wisdom. Moving forward from, this is kind of like, almost like um, evolving. Evolving from, from your heart chakra. Like moving to another level. Your situation, the Knight of Pentacles, wow, a gift coming in, some sort of message coming in, um, something being brought to you, something coming into you to kind of move you forward in this spiritual path or move you forward in evolving. This is a good sign, good, good fortune coming in. Your situation, Six of Cups. That's that real pure, innocent energy. That's that feel good energy. That is energy that is um, reciprocal, giving and receiving. It's just a real pure, innocent type of energy, almost childlike, playful. What the universe is crowning you with is the Page of Cups. Love is coming in. Love is in the air. <laughs> um, you got an offer, a gift coming in, paid a Knight of Pentacles. So this also could be an apology. Um, but this is very reliable, dependable, kind of trustworthy energy with the Page of Cups, which is a, um, could be a message of love, a gift of love. Something to do that's very uplifting, that's very um, feel-good. 
right? Feels good because you got the Six of Cups here too. That's like having a picnic at the waterfall with watermelon and wine and cheese and all those wonderful things. So what the universe, um, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of, Page of Swords, some kind of truth, some, some, some kind of clarity, some kind of authenticity. Um, this is the realness card. Like whenever the Page of Swords comes up, it's really digging into who are you really? What are you really? What is, what is the real deal here? Energies coming in in the near future. Ten of Swords. This could be surrender. This could be um, exhaustion. This could be um, usually the ten is the last cycle of a karmic lesson. So an ending. Something is ending. And you got the Ace of Pentacles here in your theme. So whatever is ending, something is beginning and justice is being brought in. <clears throat> Energies that are fading away, four of pentacles, maybe being stuck, maybe being holding on, maybe hoarding, um, guarding, holding on to. These are energies that are fading away. How you're showing up in this situation, the Hierophant, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, wise leader. High Council, Mystic Healer. I mean, these are all, the Hierophant can represent so many different things. This is also Earth energy coming in, specific to Taurus, actually. Um, but this could be about Council, having High Council. Intuitive, Wisdom. Seeking a higher perspective. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? The moon. Things that are hidden. Things that are not seen. Things that are in the surface. Under the surface. This could be feelings. This could be emotions. This could be psychic abilities. This could be... Um, the pathless path. So, you know, moving forward on a path that has not quite yet been revealed to you. Your hopes and fears, nine of wands. Nine of wands is hopes and, is fear, right? Fear, apprehension, anxiety. Um, that's the monkey mind, constantly going round and round in the mind. The what if card. What if this happens? What if that happens? What about what, what, what? Like all your duckies need to be in a row in order to feel safe and secure. And your outcome is a two of pentacles. So you could be going back and forth on some things or you could be having to make a decision with the five of cups. So something that has to do with um, grief, sadness, loss, um, regrets, feeling alone, facing something you don't wanna face. So let's see where we go with this. Cause you got a lot of highs and lows here. You've got you know, beautiful energy that are coming in for how you're showing up and your situation. And then you've got some different types of energies coming through with, you know, energies coming in and kind of where you're going on this journey. So it's like high highs and low lows. So let's see what's happening here with you, Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please. This is a gift, an offering. It could also be somebody coming back from the past as well. Got the Ace of Cups. We got the Sun. Wow. And we got the Seven of Wands. So this could be somebody coming back offering an apology. Somebody coming back from the past. Um, that may be offering you an apology or a cup of love or, you know, something that's going to give you clarity because the sun is here. So something that's going to give you clarity about a situation, you might be holding back from that. You might be setting up some boundaries. You might not be ready to receive this. Um, you could be taking a step away. 
You could be guarding yourself. You could be defensive or they could be defensive. You may be offering this to them or to somebody else. So take that how that resonates with you. So what is the Six of Cups here? This could be somebody coming back from the past. Um, this could also be about nostalgia, memories. This is a very childlike nature. We got the King of Wands, some, somebody with a lot of passion, who's brought a lot of pain, Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. This could be about cycles and patterns of somebody coming, like, somebody leaving and then coming back and then leaving and then coming back. That could explain why the highs are high and the lows are very low. Um... You know, or this could be you, but this is about cycles and patterns of coming in. Everything seems heartfelt, sincere. Maybe you've done a lot of forgiving or they've done a lot of forgiving, kind of allowed back in. This is someone who has brought a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of sleepless nights, um, but is very passionate. King of Wands can be sometimes very charismatic very tells you everything you want to hear they know all the right things to say they come in with a lot of passion they come in with a lot of charisma they come in with they have all the right words and they say all the right things um and you know there's a sense of compassion here and empathy and working together and really wanting to work things out um but i think there's also a lot of fear here because your outcome is about having to make a choice. And it looks like you've gone through some grief and some sadness. There's been there's been a lot of pain here. There's been a lot of things hidden because you got the moon. You feel like you've been stuck in this situation for quite some time. It's brought in a lot of exhaustion. But it looks like you're starting to see things from a higher perspective about this. You might be starting to see some of these cycles. So let's see what this Page of Cups is. This is what the universe is crowning you with. What is this Page of Cups, please? What is the Page of Cups for Pisces? And Justice too. this card of Justice... Um, sometimes this also can be about a karmic relationship, that push-pull. This is the, um, the runner-chaser kind of thing where, you know, somebody's got power at one point and somebody else has got power. And then the only way to get your power back is to leave the situation. This is about cause and effect. This could be about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. It's, it's, that, it's that unequal balance of trying to balance things out. So with the Page of Cups, you have the Two of Wands. Things may look good on the outside, but there's a lot of turmoil on the inside. This could be having to choose a path, having to choose what's right for you, having to make a decision on which road to take. Uh, we have it with the Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped. Feeling like you don't know what you're doing. Feeling like... Um, you don't have the courage that's kind of like those self-defeating um those self-defeating kind of self-talk that we tell ourselves that i'm not worthy enough i i don't deserve love i don't deserve happiness um there's shame there's guilt there's fear in here it's about holding yourself prison so this page of cups i think is about for you <laughs> this page of cups is about an offer of love for you and maybe learning how to love yourself yeah because you've got the eight of cups this is about making a decision to start loving yourself right this is what the universe is trying to help you with to give you that little spark of inspiration about um, what it feels like to actually be you because you got the eight of cups that's taking that spiritual journey leaving things behind that no longer serve you you are heading for your own emotional fulfillment 
You got the Eight of Swords trying to help you through the process of, of this self-talk, of this type of um, monkey mind that keeps playing over and over again. And to help you choose the right road towards your own healing, your own self-empowerment. You know, a new beginning for yourself, whatever that might look like. Um, sometimes that doesn't mean that, you know, other things have to left, be left behind. Sometimes that could just be taking a break. Sometimes people need to go their separate ways for a little while so that they can learn their own lessons or take their own journey before they can come back together again as two very interdependent people. But there's definitely a cycle here of leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back. And it, and it looks like it's caused a lot of, a lot of um, emotional upheaval. Upheaval. So let's see what this Ten of Swords is. This is really about, um, the Raising Consciousness card just came out. Um, this is about surrender, exhaustion. Had enough, got the t-shirt, been there, not going back to get another one. Um, these are some deep-seated wounds as well. This could be about mental health issues. This could be about severe depression. Um... This could be about, you know, those deep-seated addictions that are like generational in nature and then get progressively worse, like alcoholism, drug addiction, abuse, um, things that have been carried down from, from the ancestral line. Yep, we got the King of Swords getting down to the nitty-gritty. Keen awareness, getting, you know, the King of Swords removes himself emotionally, right? There's not a whole lot of emotional attachment. They get down to the nitty gritty. What is the truth? What is real? What, you know, it's kind of like the judge and the jury, like definitely looking at what's real and what isn't. Got about love with the Knight of Cups. This is about what, what is love or what love should look like. Oh, I got the... Excuse those sounds in the background. That's the tornado sounds coming in, I think, or thunderstorm warnings. Or is today Wednesday? It might be the um, first Wednesday of the month. Sirens going off. <clears throat> so this is about getting down to the truth about what love is, what this Knight of Cups is to you, what this looks like, what it should look like. When you come in with an offer of love, sometimes the Knight of Cups can be about a whirlwind romance. Um, it could be about a dreamy situation or being very dreamy about love, kind of that Disney on steroids type of love. Getting down to the truth about this. Give me one more, please. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Hermit. And we have the Star. Those wanted to jump out, so I'm taking them. <laughs> um, Five of Swords is about... Having, it's about conflict. It's about having to win. It's about um, feeling like there's a lot of competition. And if you got, if you've got cycles and patterns going on, sometimes this is more about winning or having to conquer. Um, because when that Knight of Wands comes in, their goal, that King of Wands, the goal is to win. The goal is to win over. The goal is to be seen. The goal is to kind of like um, get what you want, right? And it's left you feeling very isolated. It le it's left you feeling very alone because you've got the hermit card here. Um, there's also, this could be like a hidden motive that this is what, you know, the five of swords and the hermit, that this is what the goal is in this continuous cycle, it's about the chase, maybe, to see if you can get the chase. Um, and then we have the star. This needs to be healed. This needs to be healed. There needs to be balance between what's going on in the inner world and what's going on in the outer world. How this is showing up. Because, again, there's a lot of high highs and a lot of low lows. Somebody's, somebody's constantly feeling on the outs. And when the star comes in, it's like you're embodying that energy. 
you're taking that in and so it constantly keeps reverber reverberating rever regurgitating coming back in so let's get some clarity on the Hierophant, starting to see things from a different perspective here. This is how you're showing up in the situation, Pisces. This is how you're showing up in the situation. And everybody's popping out to play. Sorry about that. Clarify the Hierophant, please, for Pisces. We got the Page of Coins, learning something new that's dependable, sturdy. We got the Knight of Swords could make you angry or this person that you're dealing with could be very angry but it's about getting down to the truth and the heart of the matter for you standing in your authentic power standing in your authentic truth just think of how hard it is to change yourself let alone thinking that you have the power to change other people like it's it's nearly impossible but this is about learning something new about yourself, about your truth, your authenticity. What's real for you? Give me one more, please. And it might make you a little bit angry that you have to go through this process. But it looks like you're seeking a higher knowledge. It looks like you're seeking a higher wisdom. Could be anger about feeling stuck. You got the hangman. But the hangman can also be about new perspective, right? When you have that with the Hierophant, this could be about looking at this from a, from a different angle, from a new perspective. This could be looking at this as cycles and patterns that need to be broken. You know, somebody's kind of got to put their finger in there and stop the wheel from spinning and just stop it so it doesn't keep happening over and over and over again. So let's see what the moon is for you. So we have fire energy coming through here. We have the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have um, earth energy coming through. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Justice is Libra. That's air energy. Kind of got a mix of everything. Star is Aquarius. That's earth or air energy again. The moon is Pisces. That's you. Mm -hmm. So this is the moon is representing you're searching for the truth. And we've got the Six of Cups coming up again. So th this is about something that's coming back from the past or someone who keeps coming back from the past. This could be a karmic soulmate as well because the Six of Cups is a soulmate card. This could be somebody who's here to like try to teach you a lesson, the lesson about attachment maybe, about cycles and patterns. Like there's a bigger picture here. It's not just about this person or the relationship, right? This is about... This is about cycles and patterns of attachments and addictions. Things being held on to. Desperations. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. Moving away from that. With the Nine of Pentacles. So moving away from that so you can gain back your own sense of personal power. Getting to the truth about what, why this keeps happening. I think you're already questioning it. What this pattern is. Why it keeps showing up. Coming back. Um feeling stuck, not understanding it. And, and I think now that you're starting to see it a little bit more clearly, because you because it was hidden, it was hidden from you. That's what you're looking at right in front of you, right? Getting to the truth, the raw truth. That's the Ace of Swords. Like that's a powerful truth about maybe past issues, past child things from childhood, things that kind of built this foundation or about this person who keeps coming back and it looks like you're walking away from that. You're leaving that behind. And you're heading towards your nine of pentacles, your own personal power, self-confidence, um, self-esteem, you know, building your own empire, working on yourself, 
I'm going to get one more pull on this outcome for you as well. Give me one more card, please. So in the extended, I will look at this fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. It could be somebody with a lot of fire energy in them. And then I will also look at, um, I think he said, there's only one earth energy here, but there's been a couple air energy. So I'll look at Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Find out what the intentions are there. So in your outcome, you have the Two of Pentacles and you have the Five of Cups. Okay, so making a choice. Working on regret. We've got a couple here that are jumping out. We have the Moon again. So that's about secrets. That's also about working with your feelings and your emotions. We have the Two of Swords. Things that you are don't see clearly. Things, and we have the... We have the Hierophant again, seeking higher wisdom. So making a choice to work with this grief. Two of Pentacles, making a choice to work with this grief of sadness and loneliness and pain, regrets um, around, you know, your feelings, your emotions, those deep inner secrets. Something that you probably up until now have not really dealt with, have kind of closed yourself off of, haven't been able to see, but you've got the Hierophant here again. This is seeking wisdom. This is seeking higher counsel. This is seeking understanding. This is seeking spiritual, um, this is evolving spiritually for you to be able to see these patterns spiritually that they're not necessarily from the person. They're necess they're, they're probably from things from childhood, things that are ancestrally handed down, patterns, pattern imprints. So with that, my friends, my Pisces, I will get a card from you from the Sacred Creators Oracle by Chris Ann. For those of you that are not going on, something to marinate on for you for this meeting. For those of you going on, the link will be below. I will look a little bit more into this outcome. I'm going to look into um, this Nine of Wands for hopes and fears. I'm going to look at um, air energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I will look at fire energies, Aries, Leo, Sag. I will look at tendencies that need to be released during this time. And I will look at energies that need to be embraced for you. So here we go. Let's get a message here for those who are watching, please. For those who are watching. You are epic. You are epic. Hopefully you can see this. A lot of yellow in there, a lot of sunshine. The essential meanings for this, using passion and logic together, providing care for others, strength of spirit, strength of spirit, warrior soul, knowledge, leading others, stability, planning and growth, the pinnacle of success, creating order from chaos, and building your dream. There's your nine of pentacles. Your self-care message, rigidity, not leaving space for serendipity, being overly prog pragmatic, Working too hard and overextending yourself and unconsciously blocking your epic journey. This is your epic life. Can you see it yet? It's just over the horizon. And you are at a point where you have the wisdom and the experience to make it happen. Your stamina and hard work are paying off and you are being called to bring order from any chaos you've been experiencing. It's time to take the leadership role at the helm of your life and navigate confidently into areas that you haven't explored yet. You're ready. Be strategic as you plan your route and as you build your future. Know that your guides and angels are supporting the evolution of this dream for you. And the universe is offering you a chance to steer toward the epic success you've been imagining. So trust in the foundation you are building. An empire of light and love surrounds you. You are never alone. So don't allow this opportunity to be befuddled by doubt, frustration, and fear. Dig in. 
with determination and head into a new phase of prosperity and growth. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped. And until next time, I wish you peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.